let us be aware that while they preach the supremacy of the state, declare its omnipotence over individual man, and predict its eventual domination of all peoples on the earth, they are the focus of evil in the modern world. Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. America will find you, and we will bring you to justice. We came, we saw, we died. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is June 2nd, 2023. Uh, the weather today is still, once again, uh, a bit gray and gloomy, but that did not keep me inside. No, I went out to run some errands, uh, did a bit of grocery shopping, and while I was out and about in the city, that will lead me to today's topic. That topic is why America is number one when it comes to public toilets. Now, this is a topic that might not seem very concerning to most people, but let, let me tell you, it is, it is one of the most uh, dire problems that the world faces today. And America is leading, leading the world by far in the accessibility of public toilets. Now, <clears throat> for most Americans who have never traveled to Europe, uh, this might come as a shock, but toilets here, if you can find them, cost money. All right. So first off, you have to find a toilet. Okay. They're not... You would think, okay, in a city of a million people, or as an example, that there would be toilets everywhere because what, where do people shit? Where do they pee? Where do they go do their drugs? But no, toilets are hard to find. And when you are lucky enough to find one, you have to pay for it. Sometimes it's uh, as low as 50 cents, you know, in Spain or Portugal or... Sometimes it's as, it's as much as a euro and 20 cents, you know, in, in the Netherlands or or France or Germany. And it's a goddamn disgrace because it is a human right, okay, a human right to be able to go to the toilet. And there's simply no logic to not providing access to a city of a million people, toilets, because where do they pee? Where do the hobos pee? You know why you get hobos pissing on the walls or shitting in the streets? Well, it's because you don't fucking give them a toilet. And this has been something that has been bothering me for years. Okay? Years. And it, every time I go out, that's the one thing. It just ruins my day, you know, because I, I don't know. I have a small bladder. Uh, you know, if I drink a can, you know, out comes two. I don't know how it happens. Perhaps I have a magical bladder. Perhaps some scientist can come and, you know, inspect me. Tell me what medical miracle I am. Perhaps I could go and, you know, hydrate an entire small village in Africa with my magical bladder that produces twice as much as it takes in. But I have to pee somewhere. And it is very... Frustrating when I'm walking through the city on a nice summer's day. Not a day like today, but when the summer comes. I'm taking a nice stroll. And all of a sudden, you know, I get filled up. I need to empty. But there's nowhere to go. Now, <clears throat> America, on the other hand, you can walk in anywhere you want. Any gas station on the street any McDonald's, any store, any grocery store, anywhere you can imagine. You can walk in, walk straight to the toilets, and feel no shame whatsoever. You, you, there's open public access. Most of the time, they're usable. And let me tell you, okay, the, the logic that I've heard 
for why it costs money to have toilets in Europe is because they want they have to have somebody there to clean them all day to uh, keep them fresh, keep them operable. Well, that's bullshit because I've seen toilets on a daily basis, even in my city, but it, in my city is probably one of the better hygienic public toilet worlds there is in this continent but i've been to some places where it's 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 chemical warfare in there it looks like a bunch of hobos got in there and played shit roulette it's disgusting and they charge money for that nonsense so that excuse doesn't fly with me public toilets in america nine times out of ten are usable you'll very rarely get that dirty ass side of the highway truck stop toilet Maybe there's a dead hooker or, you know, so maybe there's two truckers in there sucking each other off. You never know. But nine times out of ten, you're going to be able to do your business. You might have to clean up a little bit after, but, you know, the business is done. I don't know where, how we, you know, took off at such a high rate to take over this realm of, of world problems where we are number one clearly in uh toilet availability i would say toilet use as well now there are some places where this simply isn't a problem well i i know from sources i have a close a close uh source to me that confirms that in india uh, you know they they like to be creative with where they use the toilet uh in Southeast Asia, you know, they you just basically find a hole to squat over and spray your ass down. Now I'm not I'm not saying that's not a effective way. It's but when you're drunk, it's not exactly uh, the easiest way. And you know, sometimes you just want to sit, take a breather. Um, but usually they're always free. I don't, I, I don't recall paying too too many times. It, in Asia or South America for a toilet, they're usually free and, and available. That's the thing. Availability is the main thing here. They, they hide the toilets like it's a fucking Easter egg hunt. Like you walk down the city center and uh, me, now this doesn't concern me cause I, I'm a, I'm a public toilet connoisseur. I know where all the good toilets are. I know where the free toilets are. I know I, all the construction zones that have porta potties, you know, for the workers. I have copies of the keys for most of the locks on these. So it doesn't matter. I I don't get stranded anymore. You know, I learned my lesson. I'm a, I'm a veteran in this, in the toilet world, the public toilet world. So this doesn't concern me, but this is a problem. I feel a lot of people probably face now. Imagine you're a pregnant woman, you know, you just can't, your bladder is getting pushed on by a little, a little, infant asshole that you got to take care of as soon as he comes out imagine you're a pregnant woman with some other kids just everybody's got to piss the whole it's like a whole family of just piss balloons walking around where do you go you don't know so my idea is i need a very tech savvy person to uh get in touch with me i want to create an app where you can post your favorite toilets, uh, the secret toilets, maybe accessible toilets, and, you know, filter it out by price, you know, if they're free, how nice they are, what kind of toilet you're getting on. Nobody wants to sit on a cold, dirty steel bowl early in the morning before work. You know, if you can find a nice, warm, you know, ceramic ivory throne, that'd be nice. But this is uh, something I think a lot of Americans don't know about. They're just so used and accustomed to being able to shit and piss wherever they please that if they were to take a, a trip abroad, they, they, they're they going to get, you know, a rude awakening uh, when it comes time to do the business. And this is also, conversely, a, I know a few Europeans, when they go to America, they they hold it in for so long. They hold it in because they don't, they think that they can't just go into a toilet. Uh, but yeah, you can, it, it's free. You can go in anywhere you want, go into McDonald's, walk straight to the toilet, 
take a huge dump. Nobody's going to look at you twice. Okay? It doesn't matter. I am I am determined to start an NGO that provides public access to toilets. I'm going to start in my city, but I hope it spreads throughout all of Europe. And anybody who wants to donate to my cause, feel free. Get in touch with me. We can change the world together one ply of paper at a time. Uh, this is something I'm, I'm passionate about. I don't know exactly how to attack the problem, but I'm determined to find a solution. And I remember uh, <clears throat> the day that it really got me where I think it was in the middle of the pandemic. I mean, it was, it was right in the middle. So stores were shut down. There, there was even less accessibility than there usually would be on a busy day. But everything was shut down. Uh, there was nowhere. You know, the library was closed. Even some, like the, the little shopping center where sometimes you'd, the toilet would be free was closed. But I had... An epiphany that day. I was walking past the construction zone because I like to go out and walk during the pandemic. It was nice. Get out and just you have all day to do nothing, so get out and walk. Well, I walked past the construction zone and I saw a porta potty, and I went in there, and inside was sitting the lock of the porta potty with the keys in it. And I had an epiphany right then and there. I thought, okay. When they send these porta potties out, they're, you know, they go probably to the hardware store and they're just buying 10 or 20 padlocks to lock all the porta potties up. And if you go to a hardware store, they only, they've only got, what, five models, different models of padlocks. So all of those take the same five sets of keys. So what I did, went to the, uh, Went and got me a copy of these keys. So now, anytime I'm anytime I'm walking through the city, if I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, all I gotta do look for that big blue plastic stall. It's it, it's like my it's like my phone book, and I'm Superman. I'm Clark Kent. You know, I go in uh, just a man. I I I close the door, lock it up, do the business. I come out. I'm I'm that much better, you know. I, I'm not Superman, but I'm I'm relieved. Um, I did my business. I didn't I didn't shit in the street. I didn't have to progress my colon cancer or my or my bladder cancer by holding it in. And then I come out and I lock the door. No one's ever the wiser. And then sometimes, you know, if I'm if I'm feeling a little bit uh, brave and giving I'll go to a public event like a little food festival or an, like a somewhere where there's a large outdoor crowd and I'll go unlock all of them I'll just I'll I'll throw the lock into the toilet that way now everyone can shit everyone can piss everyone is free they don't have to drink beers all day and stand around holding their bladder no one knows it was me though I'm basically like Batman of urinals, and it's a secret, so don't tell anybody if you're listening to this. Let's keep it. Let's let's keep a good thing going. You know, don't ruin it. Um. Yeah, that was that was my worry today because yeah, I had to. I was out grocery shopping, and I had to piss, and then it just made me. It made me uh, yearn to be back home, to be in America again, to be able to just walk in. Anywhere, I, I, where's your toilet? Excuse me, where's your toilet? May I may I use it? Thank you, thank you. I know I can use it. I know I can use it, but I'm gonna ask. May I use it? Because it's the polite thing to do. They're always gonna say yes, and if they don't, I'll use it anyway. But they're always gonna say yes. So I go in, and you know, it, it made me miss that, miss that ease, that oh, that sweet, sweet feel of just ah, pulling into the driveway, getting out at the gas station, and running in to. Get it out of you. It's so nice. Here you've got a stress. You're losing hair left and right. You, you Hemorrhoids are getting bigger because you're holding it in, waddling down the street with a bag full of groceries. It's horrible. 
Yeah, but that's the charm of Europe, I guess. You know, that's that's uh, the social tax you pay for having cobblestone streets and free health care. Is that, yeah, we can we can give everybody free health care, but we can't give you toilets. You got to pick one of the two. I know which one I'd choose if it was me, but, you know, it's not my choice. But that's my rant for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry if it was a bit uh, gross, a bit out of line, but that was my morning stress factor, and now I've gotten it out, so hopefully everyone else can be grateful, everyone in America can be grateful for the blessings that you have for living in the greatest country in the world, the ability to use the toilet whenever and wherever you please. And hopefully, my European listeners, you can uh, strive to make a change locally. Get in touch with your local uh, mayors. Get some toilets installed. And then, you know, call your prime ministers or kings or whatever the fuck country you have, whatever you have in your country that you live in. Get toilets. Uh, You know, everybody's going to be wearing adult diapers sooner or later. So, thank you for listening. Uh... I think the next podcast will be on Monday. I'm going to take the weekend and try to enjoy the weather. And goodbye.